quick little shameless plug. The Caesar Life merch store is live and in effect, so head over to thecaesarlife.com forward slash shop. Grab yourself some merchandise, show some love and support for this channel and for the grind. Uh, take a, f a photo once you receive your merch. Tag me in the photos and I will show you love in return, all right? Again, the Caesar Life merch store, we got beanies, we got snapbacks, we got hoodies, sweaters, all sizes, colors. Hop over there and yeah, show your love, man. I'd appreciate that. Anywho, back to regularly scheduled programming. Um, frequently asked questions. Oftentimes I get asked, what happens when my gym is overcrowded and I don't have access to the same equipment based on the programming? Great question. So what you would notice is in the, all the videos, I'm doing the same exact exercises, but I'm using different equipment. Whether it's the barbell, the kettlebell, dumbbell, is the same movement. So the GPP phase is where you want to experiment a lot, right? get into the habit and get into the patterns of the movement itself not the equipment that is attached to so that means body weight dumbbell kettlebell barbell doesn't matter you still have to squat you still have to deadlift you still have to push you still have to pull horizontal and vertical so if the gym is overcrowded you'll notice that you know you there's other equipment that you have access to just do the same movements on those and you will be fine all right let me know if that um helps and yeah i'm about to hop on the computer real quick do some uh counting and yeah i'll holler back at you guys all right so last week or a couple of weeks ago we made like a podcast blunder i ordered some microphones for the podcast but we were missing an audio interface to run it through the microphones do not operate with the Spire Studio. So wifey came to the rescue because she is a audio genius and she gave me this uh, audio interface, which is um, essentially um, it's called, I think the company is called Motu and it's a micro book too. So it's an audio interface. I think it has four or five channels and you can adjust the microphone, the volume, etc., etc. But still need some pieces, meaning we need some cables that is going to run from this interface into the computer, download the driver for this device so that it can record the audio properly. So it's still some some pieces to the puzzle missing. Not sure if I'm going to be able to bring those pieces together but still working at it man is still a process and this is something that i like to show on this channel and in these vlogs because you're going to be running through these difficulties you just work with what you have so i'm going to continue to grind with the spire studio until we get this fixed and uh, the microphone's right over here let me uh show you real quick Here's the microphone. This is one of the microphones. It's a, this is a toner microphone, uh, B700. It also came with a uh, an arm, a boom arm. So hopefully when, you know, all this is situated. Oh, here's a second microphone right here. So hopefully when all this is situated, the studio is live and wired for a podcast. Until then, I'll keep you updated, of course, with all the tools resources that I use to publish the lasagna podcast, but until it's up and running, this is what I can report on. Anyway, also I'm going to be meeting up with Christian, Mish, and another gentleman. We're going to be discussing um, the future. You know, I'm trying to create like this agency and starting with me as the client, of course, Lasagna Podcast as the client, of course, and seeing if we can recruit others, do live events, workshops, yada, yada, yada. Journey is fun. You just got to take the steps forward to enjoy the process. Anyway, let me finish and uh, see you in the next clip. Christian and I just had a meeting of the minds 
chopping it up. We got some big things popping. Oh, is the camera out here this way or this way over? Yeah. Sorry, Documenting the process. Oh, I'm on a camera? Yeah, of course. Oh, man. yo, you so. Know, TV time. <laughs> so usually I start talking about shit after I have my coffee. I just went to Yvonne's. I don't know if you guys had it before. The penicillin. If you go to Yvonne's, you gotta get the penicillin drink. If you have a real bartender, they're gonna know what it is. But anyways, we out here. Um, yeah, sometimes you just gotta get out of the scene, just get some fresh air, talk about the vision, the plan, the execution strategy, how we gonna do it. Came some, we had some new developments today. I think we got, I think we know how we gonna do this now. I think we know how we gonna do this now. It's about to be a movie. It's about to be a movie. Stay tuned, baby. Let's go.